very good morning in my previous class we have solved two problems on journal one is from 2017 question paper and another one is from 2014 question paper today we'll solve two more problems on journal yeah this is 2017 question paper problem and it was appeared for 10 marks and we have solved one more, one more problem this problem and it is from 2000 14 question paper and it was appeared for five months. Today we'll solve some more problems on journal and we are going to solve minimum seven to eight problems on journal, seven to eight problems on journal. Yes, this particular problem is from 2014 repeaters question paper. It is appeared in section B as question number four and it is appeared for five months. Question is journalize the following transactions and here they are given five transactions. We need to pass the journal entry for these five transactions. Yes. <clears throat> so before making format of journal, what we should do? We should write, we should write solution. Solution. Yes. What is the solution? Journal entries, journal entries in the books of, in the books of journal entries in the books of yeah they are not given the name of the person okay just you can write journal entries that is enough okay later we should make a format of journal hmm? yes now i am not going to make only one format for all the transactions for each of the transactions i am going to make a format hmm? yeah but you people should have only one format in which you people should write all the journal entries in chronological order okay so let's see just a minute yeah We'll make the format first. As we all know that five columns will come, right? How many columns will come? Five columns will come. Okay. Sorry. Five columns will come. Here, first column is meant for recording the date of the transaction. Second column is meant for particulars. Second column is meant for particulars. Third column is meant for ledger folio. Fourth column is meant for debit in bracket rupees fifth column is meant for credit in bracket rupees in bracket rupees okay so like this five columns will come yes okay let us pass the journal entry for the transaction which is dated on 1st april 2014 1st april 2014 okay what is the transaction let us analyze the transaction first what is the transaction? It is a started business with cash rupees 50,000, building rupees 3 lakhs and machinery rupees 4 lakhs. Here clearly three accounts are visible. Understood. One is cash account. Another one is building account and the third one is machinery account. And which is a hidden account here? Started business, meaning owner has invested money and money worth. Money is here cash and worths are like building and machinery, which is known as capital. So here, totally four accounts will come. First account is cash account, right? Second account is a building account. Second account is building account, right? Okay. Then third account is machinery account. Third one is machinery account. And fourth one is capital account fourth one is which account it is a capital account so like this totally four accounts will come yeah now we should classify these accounts cash account is which account it is a real account which account it is it is a real account building account is which account it is also real account machinery account is which account it is also real account which account it is it is a real account capital account is which account it is a personal account it is which account it is a personal account okay so this is what we need to analyze the transaction now we should decide which all accounts should be debited and which all accounts should be credited here here one is cash another one is building and third one is machinery these all are belongs to same category that is real account what is the rule of real account debit what comes in credit what goes out so when you started business with cash building and machinery these all three assets comes into the business so these all three assets account should be debited so cash account debit again which account debit second one is building account debit which account building account debit building account debit yes the next one is machinery account debit machinery 
machinery account debit machinery account debit to which account to to which account to capital account to which account to capital account okay now we should write the narration what is the narration now yeah narration is being started business started business with above assets with above assets with above assets this is how we should write the narration okay now ledger folio column is in it debit column cash account debit how much cash is invested 50000 rupees what is the value of building it is rupees 3 lakhs what is the value of machinery it is rupees 4 lakhs so total investment made by owner is how much it is rupees 7 lakh 50000 how you got this 7 lakh 50000 50000 rupee in the form of cash 3 lakh rupee in the form of building and 4 lakh rupee in the form of machinery so total investment is how much it is rupees 7 lakh 50,000. Okay. Let us move to next transaction. Next transaction, it is actually dated on 8th of April 2014. 8th of April 2014. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 8th of April 2014. What is the transaction? Transaction is purchased goods for cash rupees 25,000. Purchased goods for cash rupees 25,000. What is the date? 8th April 2000, 2014. Okay. Purchased goods for rupees. Purchased goods for cash rupees 25,000. So how many accounts are there here? Purchased goods means one is purchases account. One is purchases account. And another one is which account? Another one is cash account. Like this. There are two accounts here. Okay. Now purchases account is which account? It is a nominal account. Which account it is? It is a nominal account. Cash account is which account? It is a real account. Now we should decide which account should be debited and which account should be credited. So purchased goods means here one is purchases account and it is purchased for cash. Another account is cash account. So which account should be debited? What is the rule of nominal account debit all expenses and losses here purchases are the expenses so purchases account should be debited purchases account should be debited so purchases account debit to which account here purchased goods for cash in cash is real account what is the rule of real account debit what comes in credit what goes out here cash is going out of the business so we should credit which account we should credit cash account purchased goods for cash no purchases are expenses and cash is going out of the business what is the narration now narration is being goods purchased being goods purchased for cash being goods purchased for cash okay yeah Debit column rupees 25,000. Hmm? Yes, debit column rupees 25,000 and credit column rupees 25,000. 25,000. Okay, yes. Let us move to next transaction. Let us move to next transaction. Yeah. Next transaction, actually, it is dated on 10th of April 2017. 10th of April 2017. What is the transaction? It is a paid rent rupees 2000. Paid rent rupees 2000. Paid indicates what? Cash. So which are the two accounts here? One is rent account and another one is cash account. Another one is cash account. So yeah, rent is which account? Rent is a nominal account. Nominal account. Cash is which account? Cash is real account. Cash is a real account. So which account should be debited now? De what is the rule of nominal account? Debit all expenses and losses. So since you paid rent means rent is a expense. So rent account should be debited. It is 10-4-2014. Which account should be debited? Rent account should be debited because rent is expense. So debit all expenses and losses is the rule of which account? It is the rule of yeah, rent account debit. It is the rule of, it is the rule of which account? It is the rule of nominal account. It is the rule of nominal account. Okay, so rent account debit, rent account debit to which account? To cash account, to cash account, okay, to cash account. What is the narration now? Narration is being, being rent paid, being rent paid, okay. What is the amount? How much rent is paid? 2,000 rupees. 2,000 rupees. Okay. Let us move to next transaction. Let us move to next transaction. Next transaction, it is dated on 15th of April 2014. 15th of April 2014. 
Yes. Okay. What is the transaction? It is a sold goods for cash. Sold goods for cash. So which are the two accounts here? One is cash account, sold goods. No, sold goods for cash. One is cash account and another one is sales account. Sales account. Cash is which account? It is a real account. Sales are which account? They are nominal account. They are nominal account. Now tell me which account should be debited and which account should be credited. Sold goods for cash. Here cash is coming into the business or going out of the business. It is coming into the business, right? It is coming into the business. So which account should be debited? Cash account should be debited. So cash account debit. Cash account debit hmm? to which account to to which account to sales account to sales account okay so what is the narration now narration is being goods sold for cash being goods sold for cash being goods sold for cash cash uh, here goods sold for cash in cash comes in cash account is debited sales are income so sales accounts are credited so what is the narration being goods sold for cash and what is the value of goods sold it is 50000 okay let us move to next transaction and it is the last transaction last transaction what is the transaction transaction is transaction is cash deposited into bank rupees 5000 cash is deposited into bank rupees 5000 so how many accounts are there here two accounts are there one is bank account and another one is which account it is a cash account bank account is which account it is a personal account which account it is it is a personal account cash account is which account it is a real account understood now we should decide which account should be debited and which account should be credited see here here cash deposited into bank it means banker is the receiver right what is the rule of personal account debit is the receiver credit is the giver so here who is the receiver banker is the receiver so bank account should be debited bank account should be debited write down bank account debit bank account debit to, to which account to which account to cash account why cash account is credited because cash is going out of the business cash deposited into bank banker is the receiver cash goes out understood so what narration we should write now narration is being the cash deposited into bank being cash deposited into bank okay so ledger folio column is nil debit column is rupees 5000 credit column is rupees 5000 this is how we should pass the journal entries for the transactions in journal entry what is important identifying two accounts in a transaction and categorizing those two accounts is very important that is the groundwork what we need to do while passing the journal entries we have to analyze we have to process each and every transaction by that the task of passing the journal entry will become very easy it will become very simple and even we won't commit any kind of mistakes okay fine now let us move to next question paper problem next question paper problem actually it is from 2013 question paper and it is appeared in section c for 10 marks and question number is 10 appeared in section c as question number 10 and it is appeared for how many marks appeared for 10 marks okay yes let us solve this problem let us read the question first what is the question pass the journal entries in the books of messrs deshpande and kulkarni company for the month of august 2013 so before you are going to write the journal first you should write solution solution what is the solution solution is journal entries journal entries in the books of in the books of in the books of messrs messrs desh pande and kulkarni 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 company kulkarni company okay kulkarni company fine yes this is what we should write later we should draft the format of journal yes this is the format of journal how many columns will come five columns will come here first column is meant for date second column is meant for particulars then third column is meant for ledger folio fourth column is meant for debit in bracket rupees debit in bracket rupees right and next one credit credit in bracket rupees in bracket rupees understood okay yes 
let us start with first transaction and whenever you will pass the journal entry you have to analyze the transaction first you have to analyze the transaction what is the transaction here it is commenced business with the cash rupees 150000 commenced business with cash so which are the accounts here one is cash account one is which account it is a cash account and another one is which account actually it is a capital account Ca capital account one is cash account and another one is a capital account cash account is which account it is a real account which account it is a real account capital account is which account it is a personal account now we should decide which account should be debited and which account should be credited see here cash is real account what is the rule of real account debit what comes in credit what goes out so when we commence a business with cash when owner commence a business with cash cash comes into the business so which account should be debited cash account should be debited cash account should be debited yes just a minute which account should be debited cash account should be debited so cash account debit to which account to capital account to which account to capital account what is the narration right in bracket narration is being being started business with cash started business with cash started business with cash debit column how much we commence business with rupees 150000 so debit column rupees 150000 credit column rupees 150000 okay let us move to next transaction let us move to next transaction next transaction actually it is dated on 3rd august 2013 3rd august 2013 what is the transaction it is paid in bank rupees 70000 it is nothing but deposited into bank rupees 70000 so which are the accounts here one is a bank account one is a bank account and another one is a cash account right paid in bank it is nothing but cash deposited into bank so one is bank account and another one is a cash account bank account is which account it is a personal account cash account is which account it is a real account now we should decide which account should be debited and which account should be credited see here bank is the personal account what is the rule of personal account debit is the receiver so paid in bank it means banker is the receiver so which account should be debited bank account should be debited write down bank account debit because banker is the receiver hmm? to which account to to cash account because cash goes out of the business cash goes out of the business in the next line we should write narration what is the narration being paid into bank being paid into bank or deposited into bank understood okay ledger folio column is nil debit column yes how much how much is paid into bank 70000 rupee so debit column 70000 credit column 70000 okay let us move to next transaction let us move to next transaction next transaction is dated on 4th of august 2013 4th of august 2013 what is the transaction it is bought goods from maharaja rupees 60000 and paid cash rupees 20000 we bought goods from maharaja worth rupees 60000 and paid him cash rupees 20000 so how many accounts you are finding here we are actually finding here three accounts bought goods so which account it is bought goods is a purchases account so one account is a purchases account hmm? yes another account is you paid him some cash no so another account is a cash account from whom you have purchased you have purchased it from maharaja's account understood so like this three accounts will come purchases account is which account it is a nominal account cash account is which account it is a real account which account it is real account maharaja account is which account it is it is a personal account personal account now we should decide which account should be debited and which account should be credited okay here purchases account is nominal account right so what is the rule of nominal account rule of nominal account is debit to all expenses and losses so purchases are expenses which account should be debited purchases account should be debited so write down purchases account debit hmm? yes and next account cash account is real account here bought goods from maharaja 
rupees 60,000 and paid cash rupees 20,000. It means cash is coming into the business or going out of the business. Yes, it is going out of the business. So it should be credited. So to cash account, right? Then here Maharaja, he is the receiver or he is the giver. Actually, he is the giver, right? So his account should be credited. Understood? So what is the journal entry? Purchases account debit to cash account to Maharaja's account. Understood? So what is the narration? Narration is being goods purchased from Maharaja purchased from Maharaj Maharaj and and part of the payment is made. Part of the part of the payment part of the payment is made hmm? yes this is how we need to write the narration so we bought goods worth rupees how much 60000 so purchases account debit 60000 how much cash we have paid how much cash we have paid we have paid him cash rupees 20000 how much at we need to pay to maharaja we need to pay him 40 understood so purchases account debit 60000 rupee to cash account 20000 rupee to maharaja's account 40000 understood so this kind of entries are actually called as which entries they are called as contra entries understood okay let us move to next transaction next transaction next transaction is dated on 6th of august 2013 6th of august 2013 what is the transaction transaction is Sold goods for cash rupees 80,000. Sold goods for cash. So how many accounts are there here? Here two accounts are there. One is cash account and another one is sales account. Another one is sales account. Cash is which account? Cash is real account. Sales is which account? It is a nominal account. Which account it is? Nominal account. Now we should decide which account should be debited and which account should be credited. Here sold goods for cash. It means cash is coming into the business. So which account should be debited? Cash account should be debited. So write down, write down the date. It is 6th of August 2013. Here cash is coming into the business. So which account should be debited? Cash account should be debited. Which account should be credited? Sales account should be credited to sales account. Okay, what is the narration? Narration is being goods sold for cash being goods sold for cash being goods sold for cash okay yeah let us write the amount debit column rupees 80000 credit column rupees 80000 okay yes let us move to next transaction let us move to next transaction next transaction it is dated on 8th of august 2013 8th of august 2013 let us write the date first right what is the transaction transaction is sold goods to ram rupees 5000 at a trade discount at 10 percent when you will find the name of the person in a transaction you should be careful, understood, because most of the time they will be credit transaction. So here they said that sold goods to Ram rupees 5000 at a trade discount at 10%. Have they specified for cash? No, they have not specified for cash. It indicates that it is a credit transaction, understood. So here, how many accounts you will find? You will find totally two accounts here. One is Ram's account and another one is another one is sales account another one is sales account okay before that i wish to tell you people about this discount yes actually what is a discount discount is certain percentage of concession on the price of the goods is called as discount and there are two types of discount one is cash discount and another one is trade discount here cash discount it is a discount given by retailers or wholesalers to final customers cash discount is a discount which is given to final customers by retailer or wholesaler what is a trade discount it is a discount given by manufacturer to wholesaler or retailer it is a discount which is given by 
manufacturer to wholesaler or retailer. See here, among these two discounts, that is cash discount and trade discount, cash discount is accountable, meaning we need to write cash discount in journal entry. But if it comes to trade discount, it is not accountable. It is not accountable. So what is the difference between cash discount and trade discount? Cash discount is accountable and trade discount is not accountable. And cash discount is given by wholesaler or retailer to final consumer but a trade discount is given by manufacturer to wholesaler or retailer so trade discount usually it should be ignored understood so it will a trade discount will not appear in the book of journal it should be ignored that is the reason here we are taking only two accounts one is rams account and another one is sales account rams is which account rams is personal account which account it is personal account sales is which account it is a nominal account now we should decide which account should be debited and which account should be credited here sold goods to ram ram which account personal account what is the rules of personal account debit is the receiver here sold goods to ram means ram is the receiver so which account should be debited ram's account should be debited which account should be debited ram's account should be debited then which account should be credited to sales account why sales account should be credited because the sales are income to business understood discount account will not come here because trade discount is not accountable only which discount is accountable only cash discount is accountable so what is the narration being sold goods to rob at 10 percent trade discount at 10 percent trade discount understood being sold goods to ram at 10 percent trade discount ledger folio column is nil yes sold goods to ram ram's account debit how much five thousand hmm? yeah to sales account how much five thousand sorry not five thousand five thousand actually trade discount should be ignored trade discount should be ignored here i will show that calculation in bracket five thousand is the value of transaction minus minus 10%. How much percent? 10%. How much we will get? We will get 4,500. How much we will get? 4,500. So Ram's account debit 4,500. Then two sales account 4,000. 500 understood trade discount is not at all accountable it cannot be shown it should not be shown in the books of account but it should be deducted from the value of transaction mm -hmm. yes this is about transaction dated on 8th august 2013 let us move to next transaction next transaction is dated on 10th of august 2013 it is dated on when it is dated it is dated on 10th of august 2013 13. What is the transaction? It is a paid office rent by check. Paid office rent by check. So how many accounts are there here? Here two accounts are there. One is office rent account. Another one is which account? Another one is bank account. Because here office rent is paid by check. Check it indicates whom it represents bank. So two accounts are one is office rent account and another one is bank account. Office rent account is which account? It is a nominal account. Bank account is which account? It is, it is a personal account. So which account should be debited and which account should be credited? Paid office rent. Hmm? by check it is nominal account why it is nominal account because it is expense what is the rule of nominal account debit all expenses and losses so which here office rent is expense so which account should be debited office rent account should be debited so office rent account debit to which account to bank account why to bank account because banker is the giver so to which account to bank account because banker is the giver what is the narration here narration is being office rent paid by check office rent paid by check office rent is paid by check okay what is the amount amount is rupees 5000 how much it is it is 5000 okay yeah here actually while passing journal entries if you are able to analyze the transaction that is over that much is enough because very important thing is we should find out two accounts and we should see to it that those two accounts are belongs to which category once you are able to do this particular thing then later you can apply 
the debit and credit rules then easily you can pass the journal entry so we are moving towards next transaction it is actually dated on 16th of august 2013 16th of august 2013 what is the transaction it is sold furniture to deepak furniture works and received check rupees 10000 we sold furniture to deepak furniture works so here what is furniture? Furniture for us, it is asset. No, yes or no. We are selling that furniture to defect furniture works. Understood? So here, furniture is asset to us. Huh? And we sold that furniture to Deepak Furniture Works and received check. Check indicates so Check indicates bank. So one is bank account. Hmm? And another one is which account? Is it a credit transaction? Here they are clearly given received check. It means it is a cash transaction. So defect furniture accounts will not come. Which account will come? Furniture account will come. We sold furniture. We sold furniture. It means furniture is going out of the business. It is asset here. What it is? It is asset. Even Sales account will not come. Why sales account will not come? Here selling of furniture is not our business. We were having some old furniture. We were selling it to Deepak Furniture Work. So it is asset. So asset account will come. Okay. Bank account is which account? Bank account is a personal account. Furniture account is which account? It is a real account. So here sold furniture to Deepak Furniture Works and received check. When it is received check, it means this Deepak Furniture account will not come understood so here you are selling furniture it is asset for you so sales account will not come which account will come asset account will come so bank account and furniture account okay received check no so banker is the receiver right received check so here we received check and we deposited that check into bank so who is the receiver banker is the receiver what is the rule of personal account debit is the receiver so banker is the receiver which account should be debited bank account should be debited which account should be debited bank account should be debited so bank account debit to which account to furniture account why furniture account should be credited because furniture is going out of the business furniture is going out of the business what is the narration now narration is being sold furnitures being sold furnitures to deepak furniture works furniture works and received check and and received check received check sold furniture sold furniture to deepak furniture works and received check okay what is the amount now amount is we received check worth rupees 10000 and it is deposited into bank so amount is rupees 10000 10000 yes okay let us move to next transaction. Let us move to next transaction. Next transaction is dated on 20th August 2013. 20th August 2013 transaction is received commission from Tukaram and company. What is the transaction? Received commission from Tukaram and company rupees 5000. Received in the sense which account? Paid and received always indicates cash account. And what you have received? Commission you have received yes yesterday i was telling you people in case of this cash receipt and cash payment if they are given cause for that receipt and payment then at that time cause is important not that person not that company here you are receiving commission from tukaram and company so what is important commission is important not tukaram and company are you getting my point suppose if it is received cash from tukaram and company then cash account and tukaram company account but here it is received commission cause is given reason is given why you are receiving it what it is what it is commission it is commission is important not to karam and company okay cash is which account cash is a real account because it is a asset and commission is which account it is a nominal account received no because it is income hmm? yeah received and it is income okay now we should decide which account should be debited and which account should be credited received commission from tukaram and company received means cash comes in no what is the rule of real account debit what comes in cre credit what goes out so a received commission means cash comes in received commission means cash comes in hmm? okay to which account to 
commission account. Why commission account is credited? Because the rule of nominal account is credit all incomes and gains. Here commission is income. That is the reason commission account is credited. So what is the narration now? Narration is being commissioned received. Being commissioned received from Tukaram and company. Tukaram and company. Hmm? Yes. Tukaram and company. Okay. Just a minute. Tukaram and company. Tukaram and company. Okay. What is the amount? We received commission worth rupees. How much? 5,000. 5,000. Done? Yes. Okay. So, few more transactions are remaining. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What is the next one? It is a distributed free samples rupees 1,000. Distributed free samples rupees 1,000. Okay. Better we'll discuss about this particular transaction in my next video. I will try to give you people maximum explanation about this particular transaction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll keep this particular transaction pending as of now. Then we'll work on this in my next video. Let us move to next transaction now. It is dated on 25th of August 2013. When it is dated? It is dated on 25th of August 2013. What is the transaction? Transaction is cash withdrawn from bank for office use rupees 1000 and for personal use rupees 500. See here, here we are withdrawing cash. Owner he is withdrawing cash from bank, from bank for office use rupees 1000 and for personal use rupees 500 so when he withdrawn for office use so cash is coming into the business right so one is which account one is cash account and he is withdrawing some amount for his personal use it indicates which account it indicates drawings account from where he is withdrawing he is withdrawing it from bank so another account is a bank account so like this totally three accounts will come one is cash account another one is a drawings account and the third one is bank account cash account is which account it is cash account is which account it is a real account drawings account is which account it is a personal account then bank account is which account it is also personal account it is also personal account now we should decide which account should be debited and which account should be credited see here cash withdrawn from bank it means cash is coming into the business cash withdrawn from bank for office use means it is cash is coming into the business so which account should be debited cash account should be debited which account should be debited cash account should be debited so cash account debit then yes further one other account is a drawings account here he withdrawn cash from bank for office use as for as well as for personal use personal use in the sense he is the receiver no right so his account is which account his account is a drawings account drawings account so drawings account debit drawings account debit then who is the giver banker is the giver who is the giver banker is the giver so to which account to bank accounts here when you withdraw cash from bank for office use when you withdraw cash from bank for office use your cash comes in so cash account is debited when it is withdrawn for personal use at that time owner is the receiver so owner's account is debited then which account should be credited bank account should be credited because banker is the giver so what narration we should write now narration is being cash withdrawn from bank cash withdrawn from bank from bank for office use for office use and personal use for office use and personal use okay yeah this is how we should write the narration further how much cash is withdrawn for office use 1000 how much is withdrawn for personal use 500 so totally how much is withdrawn totally 1500 rupee is withdrawn understood so what is the journal entry cash account debit rupees 1000 drawings account debit rupees 500 to which account to bank account how much 1500 totally how much is withdrawn totally 1500 rupee is withdrawn understood yes let us move towards last journal entry yes what is the transaction transaction is First of all, it is dated on 26th August 2013. What is the transaction? It is a paid salary rupees 1000 and wages rupees 200. Paid salary rupees 1000. Hmm? Yes, how many accounts are there here? 
paid indicates what cash account so what all things are paid salary and wages so here totally three accounts are there one is salary account and another one is wages account and another one is cash account another one is which account it is a cash account salary account is which account it is a nominal account which account it is it is a nominal account wages account is which account it is a nominal account cash account is which account it is a real account it is a real account now we should decide which account should be debited and which account should be credited since salary and wages are nominal account what is the rule of nominal account debit all expenses and losses here both are expenses no so both the account should be debited so which all account should be debited salary account should be debited salary account debit next wages account is debited wages account is debited to which account to to cash account which account to cash account why cash account is credited here cash is going out of the business so what is the narration narration is being salary and wages paid being salary and wages paid being salary and wages paid yeah this is how we should write the narration this is how we should write the narration yeah okay. let us write the amount now let us write the amount yes salary account debit paid salary how much salary is been paid 1000 rupee salary is been paid how much wages is been paid 200 rupee wages is been paid so totally how much is paid totally we have paid 1200 rupees understood so like this we need to pass the journal entries for the transaction actually here analyzing transaction is very important analyzing in the sense you should find out number of accounts in a transaction later you should find out those accounts are belongs to which category later based on the situation based on the circumstance you need to apply the debit and credit rules to that particular transaction i mean to those particular accounts you should decide which account should be debited and which account should be credited once you're done with all the journal entries, you should make total of this both debit and credit column and total of both debit and credit column should be same. It is my request with you people, please develop habit of using calculator and you are permitted to use a simple calculator at the time of examination. Don't use your scientific calculator. Further, use a standard size calculator and use the same calculator every use the same calculator all the time by that you will be having a very good grip on that particular calculator yes so by this we solved totally seven problems on journal we completed till 2013 question paper in my next video i will solve problem from 2012 question paper might be that will be the last problem on journal later we are moving towards next aspect called as next aspect called as ledger yes let us continue it in my next class with 2012 question paper problem thank you so much